welcome to the mathematics of my channel today we are going to evaluate another interesting integral and uh, I am going to find the uh, Mellin transform of hyperbolic secant of x and also after the solving this integral uh, I am going to evaluate some integrals by using also Mellin transform okay first uh, we know uh, Mellin transform of uh, hyperbolic secant of x uh, we can write by uh, using integral uh, because uh, we know Mellin transform of f of x f of x is equal to integral from 0 to infinity x to the s minus 1 times f of x dx okay then here we can write this is equal to 0 to infinity x to the s minus 1 so x to the s minus 1 times f of x we know f of x hyperbolic secant of x here yeah, dx okay then we know the definition of hyperbolic secant of x hyperbolic secant of x is equal to 2 over e to the x plus e to the minus x so we can write uh, this is equal to integral from 0 to infinity now here x to the s minus 1 hyperbolic secant of x we know 2 over 2 we can write outside of the integral sign here e to the x plus e to the minus x dx okay then uh, I am going to divide by e to the x both uh, numerator and denominator so 0 to infinity here x to the s minus 1 and here e to the minus x over 1 plus e to the minus 2 times x dx well then uh, 2 times integral from 0 to infinity x to the s minus 1 now uh, we can represent this part by using a infinite series uh, uh, as I remember, uh, we uh, take uh, this uh, series also in a previous video. So, we know this is equal to um, infinite sum uh, n is equal 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n e to the minus 2n plus 1 times x dx okay then we can switch the integral sign and sigma notation so 2 times n is equal 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n integral from 0 to infinity now x to the s minus 1 times e to the minus x 2n plus 1 dx okay then we can take a substitution so here x times 2n plus 1 so I am going to take x times 2n plus 1 is equal to u then differentiate so 2n plus 1 dx is equal to du now we can plug in here we know limit also 0 to infinity so here 2 times infinite sum 0 to infinity here minus 1 to the n integral from 0 to infinity here x uh, we know x is equal to u over 2n plus 1 so u over 2n plus 1 raised to the s minus 1 power here e to the minus u now dx is equal to du over 2n plus 1 okay then um, we can simplify here 2 times 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n power now here we have 2 n plus 1 raised to the s minus 1 here 2 n plus 1 so 1 minus 1 get cancelled and <coughs> we can write 2 n plus 1 raised to the s power integral from 0 to infinity now we have u to the s minus 1 u to the s minus 1 times e to the minus u d u okay then uh, this is familiar with us because we know this is 
Dirichlet beta function and also we know this is gamma function so we can write this is equal to 2 times uh, beta of s times gamma of s <coughs> sorry okay then um, we know 0 to infinity our integral x to the s minus 1 Mellin transform uh, hyperbolic secant of x dx is equal to 2 times beta of s uh, gamma of s okay then uh, this is the generalization of x to the n c hyperbolic secant of x dx now we can take uh, s is equal to when s is equal to 2 we have 0 to infinity here x to the 2 minus 1 x times hyperbolic secant of x dx this is our integral and here we know uh, 2 times beta of 2 times gamma of 2 gamma of 2 we know gamma of 2 we know 1 uh, beta of 2 we know catalan's constant so 2 times g okay this is the answer and then we are going to evaluate uh, some integrals uh, by using Mellin transform. Uh, I would like to say uh, <coughs> practice uh, integrals with Mellin transform because uh, some integrals uh, we can evaluate easily. Uh, for example, we know Fresnel integral. So uh, now if we take integral from <coughs> 0 to infinity, 0 to infinity cosine of x square dx okay now we are going to evaluate this integral by using Mellin transform so I am going to take a substitution so we can take x is equal to u to the one half so dx is equal to one half u to the uh, one half minus one du okay then uh, we know here we have now integral from 0 to infinity here one half so outside of the integral sign one half uh, now dx we know u to the one half minus one times cosine of u t u okay then uh, we know the Mellin transform of cosine of x the Mellin transform of uh, cosine of x given by uh, gamma of s cosine of pi s over 2 okay this is the Mellin transform of cosine of x so I think uh, you can uh, prove this so if you want another video for Mellin transform of cosine of x and sine of x actually uh, we evaluated Mellin transform of sine of x in a previous video uh, with a mass identity but uh, uh, Mellin transform of cosine of x if you want a video please comment down Okay, here uh, we can transform cosine of x, we know gamma of x cosine of pi s over 2. So we can write here uh, 1 half. Now we know uh, we can transform of cosine of x, gamma of x cosine of pi s over 2. So this is the format, we can transform. So we have uh, gamma of now s we know 1 half. So 1 half cosine of pi s over 2 is 1 half so pi over 4 cosine of pi over 4 we know uh, here uh, 1 over square root of 2 and uh, gamma of 1 half is square root of pi so we have square root of pi over 8 okay also uh, if you want uh, you can evaluate integral from 0 to infinity cosine of x to the third power dx and also 0 to infinity sine of x square dx uh, fractional integral and also integral from 0 to infinity sine of x over x to the n dx here n uh, 0 in between 0 to uh, so uh, there are many integrals uh, we can evaluate by uh, using Mellin transform uh, if you want I will uh, create contains formal in transform